This is a day in my life with the Samsung S24 Ultra. Now you probably already know that I'm a bit of an Apple fanboy, which is why this change seemed so daunting on my body. But after the initial shock, I was okay. As I switched, I wanted to answer some key questions. Is the S24 Ultra actually better than the iPhone 15 Pro Max? How will the switch actually feel? Is it even a good phone? And finally, should you get the S24 Ultra? Let's get into it. So my day actually begins bright and early before sunrise. You see, as a Muslim, we actually pray five times a day, and the first prayer is right before sunrise. This really helps me center my day and my mind, and it really helps me start the day with a focus on what's important. And then it was time to head downstairs for breakfast. Time right now is 8.36, literally just took this off the charger. One of my favorite things about quitting charter accounting and going full-time YouTube is just having the ability to do things at my own pace. Like even just taking my time eating breakfast with the family in the morning. So Tuesdays are generally a pretty busy day for me, family-wise. I'm on father duty in the morning, taking all three kids to jujitsu. This was a perfect opportunity for me to test out the S24 Ultra camera. So what you're seeing here is straight out of phone footage and I was pretty impressed, especially with the zoom. I gotta say, right off the bat, I mean, what really stands out to me is just using this phone feels really good in your hand. Like it feels like I'm holding like a premium device. The other thing I'm curious about is if the selfie camera on the S24 Ultra has improved because a lot of times when you're out and about, you don't want to be lugging around like a camera like this, right? So something I noticed, I don't know, this is supposed to be a really strong screen, but there's like a slight scratch here. Like how are we getting these these micro scratches. I barely even use the phone. This thing has literally just been in my pocket, so I don't understand where these scratches are coming from. And then I tried to get a little bit of work done, going through my emails, catching up on the day, at which point then I got slightly distracted and hopped onto Instagram. And man, say what you want about how big the S24 Ultra is, but having such a big screen for viewing content or tackling productivity work like emails, oh my goodness, it is an absolute blast. I'll take this larger screen any day. And then I had to rush home for a quick meeting and here I got to test the actual speakerphone. Not a lot of people actually test this but I think this is an integral point that we all use our phones for and I gotta say the speakerphone on this and the mic quality is pretty good. Another thing that I really like about the design of this phone is they chose to go with a completely flat screen up front and I think that really goes a long way in making this phone feel all the more premium. And also, I don't know about you guys, but I love the in-screen fingerprint sensor. I don't know, are you guys uh, Face ID gang or fingerprint sensor gang? Okay, let's talk about this phone, okay? Now, having used both the iPhone and the Samsung S24 Ultra, I can confidently say that there's a lot of things that I genuinely like on the Samsung S24 and I'm absolutely absolutely loving my experience with this device so far, right? People are a little bit afraid to try something new. For example, airdrop and stuff. Because I create content so often, I needed to figure out a way in order to transfer my content between my S24 Ultra and my MacBook. One thing that I found was this website called pairdrop.net. Go on the same website on your phone. You're gonna see your computer show up right here. And then all you gotta do is just drag and drop the files. And then it's gonna ask me on the phone if I wanna accept it. Go ahead, accept it, boom. It's transferred over to my phone and now I have access to that image. But there's other small like quality of life differences. For example, like when you're using the iPhone, right? If you've scrolled all the way down on a page, then you can just tap at the top and it'll take you up to the very beginning. Versus on a Samsung, you can't really do that. Now, is this a huge deal for me? Yeah, kind of, but like, is it like a deal breaker? I wouldn't say so. Like, I can just literally just scroll up to the top very quickly. But these small quality of life differences do make a difference. Now, certain things that I noticed about this phone, okay, so far, I'll say the battery life, it's not bad at all. Like I've been using this phone, like even while I was off camera, like, and the battery life right now is at about 73%, which is not bad at all, considering that I'm pretty much halfway through the day almost, it's 2 p.m. right now. 
Now for the next couple hours, I actually get some focus time to work on my business before the family stuff starts up again. So I usually like using this time to catch up on my emails, on any business matters, and also any filming or scripting or storyboarding work that I need to do. In this case, I wanted to actually jot together some notes and sketches for this current video and uh, basically come up with some thumbnail ideas. And that's where having the S Pen on the S24 Ultra was clutch. One of the things I absolutely love about the Samsung S series line phones, like their Ultras, man, it's the stylus. Like I'm so glad that Samsung has done this because you see these phones tend to be so big. Having an extra benefit like a stylus that you can scribble on, write on, draw out like a quick thumbnail like I just did, it's super handy, super helpful. Also fidgetability score on this, Insane, like I could do this all day. All day, son. And also another cool thing is you can actually use this as like a remote trigger. This will also test out the front facing camera, okay? I'm gonna trigger with this. Next, I had a whole bunch of packages that had come in that I needed to unbox, including these memory cards, a screen protector for my Osmo Pocket 3, a suction cup, the new DJI Mic 2 that DJI sent over, as well as a MacBook Air that Apple sent over. <laughs> I friggin' love my job. That's about it. So I'm gonna quickly pack up. Let's take some of this stuff with us. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna check out the camera on the S24 Ultra. I'm really excited to check this part out because it's got some, this one new feature that I really like. I, I just wish that we had more sun. Like the past so many days in Canada has been like extremely gloomy, okay? I'm talking like, all the time it's it's just cloudy like this i guess it makes for great like diffusion so at least we have that <laughs> phone in video or photos and stuff like that it looks very similar to the s23 ultra almost like pretty much like the same phone but even though it looks similar i gotta say like in hand it feels very very different <laughs> okay guys so i came to this like park area here so we're just gonna test out the camera here just you know your basic old scene frozen dock here in Canada. I was talking about in the car about the design and the feel of the phone. I think a lot of that might have to do with the fact that it's like titanium now. Like I'm digging that matte textured look and feel to the phone. Also this color is pretty nice. Okay, cameras. Let's talk about the camera on this thing, okay? Compared to the S23 to this year, I don't see that much of a difference in the camera, like, but that 5X 50 megapixel zoom lens is fantastic. Now, I've mentioned this several times. I definitely prefer that 5X range compared to the 3X. So we're gonna try to focus on that thing over there. Now, let's say I go 1X zoom. This is your regular 200 megapixel lens really good great clarity everything looks fantastic now this is previously what they had 3x to 5x you can see that clarity come back in now we can even go up to 10x and that still looks fantastic i'm gonna go even more you can still go up to 20x next i wanted to see if i could actually read what was written on this barrel so i max zoomed on the s24 ultra took a photo and then tried to see what it said in the photos app and i was able to successfully read it as no household waste Okay, there is absolutely no way I'm gonna get that level of detail with the iPhone. I did bring the iPhone with me, so we're gonna try to the same zoom thing, and I'm gonna try to see if I can read what's on that barrel. So I max zoomed on the iPhone, opened up the Photos app, and yeah, that's not legible. I mean, now that I know what it says, I'm kind of biased, but like, yeah, there's no way, there's no, yeah, you're not making that out on the iPhone. Oh, super cool. I need to like warm my hands. Okay, so now we're gonna head home. 
Hopefully the kids are back by now so we can go do the surprise that I wanted to do. Five o'clock and it's already becoming like super dark. Like it just makes you want to go home, not work anymore and just relax. Versus in the summertime, I could keep crushing till like eight, 9 p.m. even and I don't feel burnt out at all. We're home. Okay, we're back at the studio. Now, one thing I wanna say is I am thoroughly impressed with the battery life, guys. Okay, let's take a guess, okay? So I've been filming with this, I've been shooting on this, I've been using this for like pretty much, wait, the camera's not straight. So I've been using this pretty heavily and right now my battery life is 57%. Guys, that is, that is very impressive, that's fantastic. Usually by now my iPhone is quite a bit lower, so, I, do I dare to say that the S24 Ultra is doing better on battery life so far? Also, one thing I wanna mention, okay, so just my experience using this phone, I've noticed that this thing is super snappy. There's no legs, no nothing, like everything is really quick. Even just scrolling on this Google Now page, Goodness gracious, like usually I used to get like screen tearing and stuff like that when I'm like scrolling or doing this. Like there would be some lag, okay? But the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 has, has been performing really well. Props to Qualcomm as well as Samsung for getting this sorted out. Next, I have to quickly film a reel for a client and I usually like having my phone playing a video on the side that I can just watch while working. And we already know in terms of video quality that the screen is fantastic, but I will say that the speakers and audio quality of the phone are also pretty good and I had no issues using it this way. I think my family's back home so I'm gonna head back home. I gotta quickly pray and uh, yeah and then I think we can get going. Kids were at some class now I'm gonna go meet up with them at the store so my son doesn't know. All three of my kids are into it but like my son is like really into it. I didn't even know you, you were doing that. You them. guys excited for this? Yeah. I really wanted to get one of those. Yeah. Good. Sure. So this is the one I picked up because this has all like the original Pokemon, the one that I actually know. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Excited? Yeah. Go. Ooh, we have black. Here. Whoa, what is that? That is Yeah. All right, sweetheart. Let's see what you get. I got an Electabuzz! Whoa! And this used to be one of Baba's favorites. Venomoth, shiny one, and oh my god! <laughs> so this is actually the most expensive card in this entire set. A little kid pulled it, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take it from you. And he got an Articuno. Oh my god! Pulled. This is this is the full art Charizard. This is the most expensive card. Oh my goodness, what a thrill that was. Whew. I put the cards away, took the Charizard. I had come on guys, I had to. What would you do in that situation or scenario? Okay, let's be honest here. You would do the same thing. Okay, I'm not I'm not being unreasonable. Okay, so the time right now is 1024. Or 10.25, wow, just changed on me. Okay, I'm like really tired, so I might just stop by just to get some low light footage uh, and shots in downtown Milton, which isn't really much to be quite honest, but uh, let's see, let's see what I can get here. That's the thing, in this like content creation space, like I sometimes feel like I never stop working, right? I know it's not like healthy, and even when you're not working, you're constantly thinking about it, and uh, that kind of sucks. Okay, I'm here right now, and the street is basically dead, but maybe I can just quickly get some shots here. This is your 1X, this is your 3X, which seems a little bit blurry, but then the moment you go to 5X, it clears up a little bit. 10X, and then you could go as far as 20x here. Okay, finally back to the studio. Guys, battery life. The time right now is 1047. 31%. Dude, and I've been using this phone pretty heavy like all day. Like I've been filming on it, I've been shooting photos with it. I've, uh, you know, used it to watch content, emails, WhatsApp, everything. Battery life on this for me has actually been better than the iPhone 15 Pro Max so far. I 
I'm so I'm shocked to say that. I'm surprised to say that, but uh, that's how it's looking right now. In any case, thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you like this video, then please go ahead and check these ones out and uh, subscribe. If you're here till the end, you guys are the real ones. Really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Stay blessed. Peace.